How's everybody? Good. How are you? Doing good. Hot. Oh yeah. I'm good. All right. Where do we want to start? Well, I mean, his daily just uh, strain and way he plays the game plays really, really hard. Impact he has on the line of scrimmage, the disruption that he creates, uh, the way he led the weight room. He got the summer program uh, award for being the hardest worker, strongest player. So it's off the field, and then just the way he's grown uh, as a leader. You know, he, he, similar to how Bradley was here, he's a high-spirited guy, he plays with an edge. You know, and sometimes that's double-edged sword for guys. You know, he's learned how to use that the right way. So really proud of his growth. You know, on and off the field. And to, to wear that, you have to be dominant in many ways, and he's the right pick. How have you kind of seen Christopher and Trent bounce back from their assorted injuries from last year? Chris Toodle? Yeah. Uh, good. Chris uh, Toodle's had a really good camp. Been very consistent. Uh, you can see he trusts, you know, his body now. He's using his arms, using his shoulders. He's done some good things in the run game that, you know, is progress for him. He's always been a, a ball catcher for us in that position, but he's really improved himself as a, as a blocker. You know, Trent's been in and out of camp um, with some minor things. He's been great this week, so it's good to have him back in there but hasn't been able to go through the entire thing like uh, Chris Tudor has. So should have both of them um, going into the first game and just kind of build on it as we go. Coach, where, where are you at as far as your mind state 48 hours before you, yeah. you, you're opening up the season? Those emotions that you're kind of like going through and whatever yeah. concerns you might uh, have? Well, there's a lot of unknowns. Um, you think you know what you have going into the first game, but you know, under the lights, there's gamers. Sometimes guys emerge. Sometimes guys shrink, you know, and so I'm anxious to see the guys on game day. I'm excited to see them play. They've worked hard. It's a really close knit team, and so you know, for me, it's more anxious. Just kind of want to see it, you know. Want to get out there with them on the grass, and then once we know kind of how they are, and got to get the jitters out of some of the younger guys that are playing, you know, that it's going to get better, you know, as it goes. Have you had to correlate at all that it was 31 to nothing at halftime last year? No. That this is a different UConn team this last year? Last year's games don't mean anything. You know, last year's teams don't win this year's games. And so we know UConn's a better football team. We know they're a different football team. We're also a different football team. And so we got to go prove whatever the score is. You know, we got to earn that. And we know they're probably talking about it, right? They want to play better than they did. And I know they will. Watching their film, they were much better football teams as the year went on. Is there any? Significant differences or challenges to opening up on the road as opposed to playing your first game here at home? Well, there's always home field advantage. You know, they were five and one at home last year. You know, we've been a really good home team. So, you know, when you go to someone else's environment, um, you have to get used to it. You know, foreign locker room, stadium's different, sidelines maybe tighter, looser. As far as the space down there, you know, you're in a hotel instead of your own bed. So. There's some different things about playing on the road. And you know, once you start the game, it's the same, right? But it's all the things that lead up to it. Sometimes guys can lose focus. And so it'll be a good test, you know, get on the road and see how mature we are. I'm sure it's a lot easier than people realize, but how was the process to say, watch Maine play football games from last year? What do you guys kind of go through to get that done? Or what services do uh, you subscribe to? to? I mean, we have everybody's games. And everyone in college football, it doesn't matter what level. Each week we get everybody's film. We get every NFL game too, so you don't have to struggle to find film like you used to. We had to get it sent to you in the mail on a VHS, you know. You know, it's all online. So yeah, we watched all that film and obviously had a chance to see him compete against a lot of people. And he's a good quarterback. You know, he knows their offense. He's got good size, uh, poise in the pocket. And he's a uh, guy that can move around. And he's not necessarily a guy that's going to run all day on you, but he runs well enough to hurt you. And the offensive coordinator and every history together, so there's some similarity there, and certainly similar to what we have with Brennan and, and uh, Robert. You know, where they're going to be able to work back on games they've coached and played in together, and, and have some recall in their game planning. You mentioned you mentioned seeing UConn's growth as the year went on. W what did you see that makes them more dangerous, and and how do you think that will translate to what they have this year? Well, they're a really good running football team. You know, they're a physical team on offense. It doesn't turn the ball over. They rush the ball well. They have really talented tailbacks. I think those two backs can play in our league for anybody. They're really good players. Defensively, they got better and better as the year went on, and they returned 10 of 11 starters. Uh, 
you see, they just got used to what Coach Moore wants in a team, you know, and they're a physical football team. It's just like any coach that takes over. It's hard at the beginning to get everybody on the same page. But over the course of the year, you can see that those kids started to believe and they were sick of losing up there and they started listening and doing the right things. And they've got a good team. They really do. You see, there's a reason they won five of their last seven games, beat Boston College, beat Liberty. So it's a good football team. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.